I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So what we're doing right now is we are sneaking into Kelsimo's lab in order to find uh, his uh, his work that translates uh, Felmer, um, the Felmer language, into whatever language it is that we're speaking in uh, in this game. So. Let's make ourselves invisible. That will probably be useful. Unfortunately, my companion here does not have a similar spell. That's interesting. So they have a valve that just does a slow version of that trap. Kind of cool. And there is a guard. I'm hoping that I can... So where am I going, actually? I am heading... Somewhere around here, I guess. Let's see if I have this quest active. Yes, I do. And apparently the game thinks I'm, go I'm moving the wrong way. Well, let's keep on moving. Okay, so there's the guard here, and they have honey nut treats and other goodies. But I'm not sure how... I'm not sure exactly where we're uh, trying to go here. And unfortunately, at this point, the uh, the map is not being super useful. So I'm just going to keep on keep on looking around here. And a few scrolls here. I don't want to rob Kelsamo blind. He's just being uncooperative, but not actually too douchey. But at the same time, I know that I do want to get what I need. What's in here? I'm wondering... So I have done this quest once before, but I don't quite remember... Uh, I don't quite remember what the solution is. Aha! Laboratory key. That looks right. Okay, so now that I have the lab key, I just need to make my way back to the lab. Okay, which is... It's not to the right up here, is it? Maybe it's to the right. I might need to slip by this guy somehow. Or a gal. Might be a gal. Okay, so she's circling around here. Be careful, uh, Serana. Okay, looking good. Let's keep on moving. Hmm. Yeah, so Calcemo really seems to be reconstructing a lot of this stuff. Now, if you are an utter douche, I think you can probably activate this trap somehow uh, to kill them. I don't know how it's activated, but I would rather not do something quite that nasty to people. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't really know my way through here very well. So I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, but... Somebody's coughing. Not sure what this does. Oh. Okay, so that's really kind of bad. It's not a good sign that Kelsima. I hope I. So somebody's coughing. Is that? No, it's not her. I really don't know what these four panels do.
Unfortunately, I can't tell if that's me coughing or if it's the guards. Uh, it doesn't look like it's Serana unless Serana doesn't know how to cough, which is entirely possible. Here is Val. Oh, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 no. Stop. I don't want to do that off. Turn off. Oh. Okay, looks like I've unwitted, unwittingly actually done what I really didn't want to do. That is a pretty nasty way to go. Well, sorry guys. Really was not my intent. Um, maybe I should send flowers or something. It's kind of weird that stealing something from a, from a dead body isn't stealing it, but stealing it from a live one is... Where? Wasn't I just here? Yeah, I guess I was. So where am I going? Let's see if the map clarifies. Apparently I'm not going anywhere around here. And, yeah, that just leads down. Okay. So, it's not a lot useful directly around here. Um, but this is a closed door. And stairs leading up. I think where I want to be is up fairly high, so this probably is the right direction. Ah, oh, that is a gigantic dwarven sphere. Things are quiet, but there are more people here. Okay, someone walking that way. I hope I don't have to kill all these people, but I might need to. Let's scoot over here. The problem is that I'm not confident that Serana is as good at sneaking as I am, and she might start a fight that will force me to hop in. Okay, so what is over here? Over here are some arrows, it looks like. Or no, that's solid metal. Okay, and... So, dude is really wealthy if he has all this uh, to himself. He's doing pretty well. Okay, so that guard walked by before have to wait a little bit and I think the guard will walk back. That will be my time to slip through. Looking good. Okay. Okay, I am not that thrilled at the idea of turning that knob because I don't know what it... Oh, yeah, it'll probably bring up one of these blade thingies and kill everyone. Okay, that's kind of uncool. I don't really want to do that. So, let's see. Is that him? Might actually be uh, Kalsema. Or maybe his nephew. Okay. Don't have a lot of room here. Are you going to see me? No, because I'm invisible. Good. Uh, let's take a quick look at this book, which I think is enchanting. Okay. Let's keep on moving. And hope that Calcimo is not super observant. Let's... Okay. So they noticed something, but they didn't quite notice me. So that's a good sign that I'm still doing okay. Yes, it is your imagination. This is not these are not the vampires you are looking for. Okay, so we're gonna keep on moving.
So I think they noticed uh, Serana there. But I think sneaking through this store will hopefully uh, end any pursuit. Hopefully. Yeah, seeing all this stuff should cement the idea that Markarth is one of the coolest uh, coolest cities in uh, in Skyrim. I personally prefer Riften as a place to live, but Markarth is definitely a cooler place. Okay, so we are outside and upstairs on the balcony. We're heading into the next area. Calus Samos Tower. Wait, what's his name? Calcemo? I'm not sure I was reading it correctly. Maybe it was Calclamo. Let's see. Uh, Calcelmo. That's his name. Calcelmo. And that is what we want. That up there is the... is a um, translation between Falmer and presumably some other language. So we need to find some way to get a copy of that thing, I guess. Which does mean that we need to reach it. That, that nice quick hop there. So I need something to copy the writing on that stone. Which shouldn't be too bad. And, and fortunately it looks like this area is pretty empty. Oh, that was cool. So it looks like she, uh, she can tumble. I never, I've never seen her do that before, but... Oh, that is not a useful skill for me, but... Oh, so now I have charcoal and I have a piece of paper. And that should be good enough. Nah. Okay, well that... Positive, I heard something. There is a thief. He won't leave this tower alive. But shouldn't we inform Master Calselmo? Calselmo. Okay, so they're coming up to look for me, unfortunately. Uh, uh, Sharana, that's not a great place to stand. We're going to need to make a break for it soon, I think. Okay, so we just need to slip off. Okay, things are still going reasonably well. And hopefully we, we won't need to kill anyone uh, more. I'm not sure if the game will actually let me hop off. No, it won't. So apparently the only way out is to walk back out through the doors. But I think I can probably manage that. So this this part of the game does remind me of an old joke about a guy who was going to a tech conference every year and every time he went in he informed the guards that he was stealing really valuable things and so the guards would follow him around and watch him as he went from stall to stall and talking with him or, or, and talking with all of the presenters but they could never find what uh, anything valuable that he had taken despite searching his stuff uh, before and after uh, every time and so finally they got around to ask him okay working on it 
finally they got around to asking him exactly what it is that uh, that he had uh, taken after several years of this and the answer that he finally gave was that he uh, he's stealing ideas okay let's keep moving and definitely hope that I hope not. Is this okay? I think this is still the way. Sorry, guys. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. I'm stealing. Uh, information now. I don't quite see where I'm supposed to. Aha! Uh -huh. This is where I'm going. Or maybe not. I think this is actually. Ah, oh, darn it. Anyhow, the exit should be around here somewhere, I think, I hope. Is it up? Is it down? Okay, this looks about right. Working on it. You need to leave. I know. It is exactly my plan. So I suppose not being willing to, to share research that hasn't been published yet, that's a pretty natural tendency of academes at times. Oh, shoot. Okay. I think this is right where we... Yeah, that's not helpful. I think we just came through here before. Because academia is so much derived on or it's so much driven by reputation and making a name for uh, for yourself and def uh, defending it occasionally professors uh, they're less than keen to uh, to collaborate with others if it might diminish their um, their path towards increased prominence is this really the way Dwemer Museum is forward and to the right a little bit. Okay, this is not what I want to see. Do I really want to head... Oh, darn it. I really don't see where I'm trying to go. Except the, the game seems to really be of the strong impression that this is the way that I should be going to, uh, to make my way out. So maybe I'm just misremembering. I could have sworn that this was the way back up to, um, or at least it looks like a lot like it's the way back up to um, where we got the carving. But it's easy to get these things confused. 
I'm worried now that that guy has spotted us that we're just going to need to make a break for it. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what the map says when we make our way back outside. Okay, so... Well, the game seems to... Oh! No? Can we fast travel from here? Well, can try. And what else is there to do? Karth Spire, Sky Raven Temple, that's the dragons. Um, turn to Aneth here? Anathir shouldn't be here. Well, let's see if, if we can... No, you can't fast travel from here. So yeah, this is definitely not where... I don't think it's where we want to be. But yeah, let's double check that this is the way back up to... Yeah, that's the way to Kelsamos Tower. So this is definitely the wrong exit. to this area. Yeah, but Calselmo, he he must be pretty rich, or maybe it's just a perk of being the court wizard to have such a gigantic uh, house. Okay, so a fight broke out. That's not good. Okay, I'm just going to make a run for it. And by that, I am going to use clairvoyance to... Provided that it doesn't point me... Yeah, it does point me right back where I was. That's no good. And the, the guards are alert, which is not good. So how can I make my way out of here? Okay, this is the wrong way. It's almost straight behind me and then to the right. So, straight behind me now and to the left somewhere. Let's duck down so that we're hard to see. Oh, you did, but I don't want to be found. I'm not sure where. Now, it'd be great if there were a way to knock people out in this game. I certainly would feel better about uh, doing what I do. Okay, is this the right way? Well, maybe. I guess it's at least a way. Okay, so if I run ahead and then turn right, that might put me where I want to be. Again, sorry dudes. Is this... Is it really the only way to go? Okay, so where am I going now? Uh, I want to be shifting th to, the, to uh, the left as I, I can be. sure what that does. Probably something nasty. Well... Oh, apparently the Dwemer had some explosives. There are some Dwemer traps. And there is uh, Serana. Okay, so hopefully this looks like uh, the exit. So we are no longer lost in Kalsalmo's uh, pretty sweet pad. At least hopefully not.
So I might actually be allowed to be in here now. What business do college majors have in a place like Sarfan anyway? It's a place for not. I mostly deal with petty history and drunken brawls. Sweet. So I am no longer no longer need to do all the sneaky stuff. Oh, he has a Falmer chest. Pretty cool. And this gets me out into the main uh, keep. I'll j I just hope that Calselmo never hears traceably uh, that this was uh, me sneaking in. We go. Is there anything else that we had to do in here? I guess not. So we can just uh, leave. Yeah, so for the last few episodes, uh, I have not been doing a lot of uh, killing, which is fine. Um, it is fine because uh, there are lots of different ways to play the game, and I'm trying to be a little bit more sneaky. That's an interesting way to hold a bow. I wonder if, if it's particularly accurate or not. Tell us the game. I don't quite remember who the game is. The game wants uh, Skyrim wants me to talk with him. Mm, I suppose I might as well do so. You're that mage from the college, right? Oh, I said alms, you backbite. Got any ale or mead? But they've got a treasure in there. Gold statues I oh, the guy wants me to steal something. Not that interested. So now we will return these carvings to Anathir. Actually I could have just fast traveled from the city. I'm not sure why I just had to step out the door. We go. I'm not sure why he's not hanging out in his uh, in his room at the college. I guess he he likes to come into uh, to town occasionally. Yeah, those are nasty. If you go swimming in the wrong water, those little bastards will come up and bite you. <coughs> And 
There is the Earl. How many colleges they built, or how much the sea swallows up. There's really not much of a Earl. I think there's something like five, uh, five houses in this city. You know, Winterhold used to be the seat of power. Okay, and he's in the cellar. What is he doing down there? If there's anything you need, just let me know. Oh. Back, eh? And how was there something else? So besides the fact that I'm fairly certain he Sadly, we never had the op. Ironically, I pointed him in the same. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. I understand. Now let me. Take he a understands. Look. That's a, a typo in the game. Okay. Hi, Carlyle. allegiance to the guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Oh, Anathir has a really unfortunate hairstyle. Wealth came from. Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Anathir? Anything about... The Nightingales. Yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us. Purple eyes. Weird. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Antha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the guild. Is that a completely black book? Well, Was there something else? Yeah, it's a complete right, Carlyle, black book on one side. And. Okay, so. Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden, and you find yourself in... I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can... In the time before man, they were known as... Like the Altmer? Oh yeah, already had that conversation. So... Now I think I need to catch up with Carlia. Wait, did I? Oh, I accidentally left her behind in there. Okay. We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. You've come this far. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. Everything that represents Nocturnal's... Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal. I felt the same way. I think given time you'll understand what... As a nightingale, I know the guild doesn't do much to foster faith. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. In the meantime, I wanted you to have the... If the guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. Okay, so she gave me a nightingale blade. I don't quite remember what this is. But... The mages don't let us go in the college. Now I ha have to head back home to Riften. <clears throat> so Nocturnal, I believe, is a um, 
a Daedric Prince of Shadows or sneakery uh, stuff like that. And uh, throughout, uh, throughout Skyrim, you can interact with a number of Daedric Princes, and if you like, you can collect the favor of most of them and gather up their artifacts, and I believe that you can win an achievement on, uh, on Steam or whatever the appropriate um, online gameplay record tracking thing uh, is for your platform. But unfortunately, because most of the, uh, most of the, wait, let's see, uh, 496 of 550. Oh, another person who took an arrow in the knee. Uh, but yeah, because most of the quests are kind of immoral, it would be a little bit weird to do too many of them. So I'm going to drop off some of my stuff at home. Good to see you too, uh, whatever your name is. Okay, I have a lot of dragon bones and scales. Uh, I guess next time I see Desargo, if I switch back to him, I could uh, smith him some uh, some better gear. If I decide not to uh, to switch back to him, then I could probably. Um, why do I still have so much stuff on me? Oh, right. So I still have these... Um, these weapons... Okay. It's a pity that you can only get one of the bows from, uh, from that quest. Anyhow, yeah, these ethereal weapons, it's a pity that you only get one of the, uh, the ethereal uh, bows, because they're kind of nice. Um, okay. Don't need the Staff of Magnus anymore, or the Wabajack. Um, I don't use the Archmage's bow, or I mean, uh, robe. I don't use more K. Okay. Not sure why I'm not wearing this. Don't use that. Okay, so that gets my weight use down a bit. I guess I, I could quickly enchant some of this stuff. Okay, Ebony Bow. See what I have. I really have a lot of soul gems right now, many of which are filled with uh, with souls that are not nearly as nice as the capacity. Yeah, grand souls uh, filled with petty or grand soul gems filled with petty souls. That's that's a, uh, a pity, but. If you really want to avoid that, then you just want to make sure that you always have enough uh, petty soul uh, gems on you at all times, so that if you kill a weak monster with a bound weapon, you're not going to fill up a nice soul gem, because it's always going to fill the... Uh, so out of the soul gems that you have that are free, you'll always fill up the weakest one that you have available to you. But yeah, if you run out of, the, uh, out of the weak ones, then it will fill up the uh, the nice ones. So that is what you're going to be worried about. And fortify destruction and archery. I think that's a pretty good value. Though really, maybe I shouldn't be uh, bothering with items this week. And uh, I guess that should be good. 
So we're going to move on and keep moving. Come to see back. Take a look. Okay. So, Bellamond, I have some weapons to sell to you. Oh, well, that's good enough. Return any time. You're quite welcome here. And I want to head down to the Thieves' Guild. So somewhere, oh, okay, apparently it gets locked for this quest because there are probably some events that happen. If you uh, go at it uh, through the, uh, if you go at it this way. So, let's go at it this way. It's kind of weird thinking about how how many people probably know the geometry of imaginary places because of games like this. Oh, how did... Anyhow, apparently Serana knows these places a lot better than, uh, than I do. Yeah, so that's why, um, that's probably why the game wouldn't let us use the normal entrance. Oh, come on, what are you doing? I am kind of curious what would happen if I shouted her ahead, but she would probably turn a uh, hostile and attack me, so... Not going to do that. Yeah, so just to remind uh, remind you of the plot. So she uh, was the lover of the previous leader of the guild. And she's come here to face the current leader of the guild who killed the previous leader of the guild. And the current leader framed her uh, for, uh, for that murder. says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. 
Wait just a blessed moment, Brim. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. So, was looking into it before he was a lot of us thieves and two of us vampires. There, taking a look at the Thieves Guild vault. Mikey Eight, it's gone. Everything's gone. Get in here, all of you. So you would think that when they're dropping stuff off in the vault, they wouldn't notice that it's empty. Mercer, come tell me right away. Okay. Bring your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Okay, so the current guild leader is missing. Probably because uh, all this stuff came out. Uh, what is going on, Brynjolf? Oh, he's he's over here. So look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. I I feared that was the anything else. Trying to make Mercer look bad. In was there anything else? What? Night. Was there anything else she told you? Then I haven't. I need you to break into Mercer's home and search. Aye, a gift from the. He never stays there. Just pays for the upkeep on it. Heard some. Li Be careful, lass. Just find a way in. Get the information and leave. And you have. Good question. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best. No. I'd wager a well-placed shot that the ramp's mechanism would lure it in a hurry. Huh. Mercer's whole... Talk to Vex. She used to know him better qu... Mercer took everything. Before Mercer took... Museums, keeps... I don't have a... Without two keys, it's impossible to open. I okay, so this, uh, this bit here actually was... something that I... I was stuck on it for a very long time and actually had to look up the uh, answer because I missed that bit of dialogue there. But yeah, getting into that house, it's not at all obvious uh, how to do it. And as is often the case in RPGs, if, if you aren't paying enough attention, you'll just miss, uh, miss out on it. The only thing Vald understands is, sure, but he'll ask for a whole. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maiden. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. Okay. While you're in there, help yourself to anything in Frey's manner. I would. To do we? Could you sell pretty voice? You can offer, but I may not buy. Why don't you just formally join up? Quit sitting there wheeling and dealing when you could be out there making a head. You need to stay focused in case Frey comes back. Make it fast. Oh, thanks for the compliment. Well, looks like you're fit. Okay, well so done. we want to buy some more lockpicks from her. I'm allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Of course. 
Your new piece will enhance your skill. Tough luck for you then. Come back when you have at least one of the pieces. Well, looks like it's uh. supposed to allow you to trade in your pieces of the It was a damn armor. logging service. So what will it be? So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Okay, so I was hoping to be able to um, buy more lockpicks from her, but apparently we need to trade in guild armor first. I'm not absolutely certain she's the right person uh, to buy lockpicks from anyhow, but let's keep on moving. Foot in the cistern, and I'll cut it off. Um, yeah, it looks like NPCs, if you drag them out of where they are, um, oh. so the game recommended I speak with, um, what's her name? The, uh, that rich and powerful lady here. This her? What in the name of Oblivion? He owes me a steep debt. In fact, he's a few years. Vald was tasked with getting it here. The wizards called it. The if you can locate the quill and return it to me, something Vald was too stupid to do himself. How can I had Vald? The idiot got lost in the mist and ran. He's too stupid to remember where he was. Vald said his rowboat struck some rock. Perhaps you should start at the docks and work your way out towards Golden Glow Estate. The quill was a... I'm sure you could understand how useful that is. Fortunately, the quill required it. So if you're getting any ideas about selling it to someone else or keeping it, you'll find it would hold little value. Okay, so I didn't do it this way before, but I will try and do it this way uh, this time. So I need to find a uh, quill somewhere. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable set of quests to have active right now. Now, this little uh, thing here, uh, before you installed uh, Dawnguard, if you were, if you ever became starved as a vampire, you would reach a final form, and uh, all the NPCs would attack you. But I don't think I ever experienced that because. I I never managed to get infected with the infection type of vampirism uh, before I installed Don, uh, Don Guard. It wasn't actually that exciting. All it did was open up, I think, another spell uh, to you. Whereas the Vampire Lord extension actually makes uh, the game considerably more uh, interesting. So, it looks like we're diving beneath the lake to um, to find a quill. For uh, Maven Blackbriar, is that her name? I think it might be her name. So, it's unfortunately... Thalmor in the Ratway? What's next? Spriggins in the Bee and Bob? <laughs> so let's see if we can find this. Uh, so I'm guessing that there's probably a treasure chest or something down here to look for, maybe? Oh. And there is Serana. Now I think in classical myth, Vampires were supposed to not be able to handle running water very well, and running water was a loose enough concept that I think full immersion in water like this would probably be pretty dangerous for them. But fortunately, uh, the game isn't really trying to be uh, accurate to that, that kind of myth. So let's keep looking down here somewhere. And 
and I think the game did hint that whatever it was, it, it ran aground. So maybe it's an area where the rocks are kind of high. Problem is, I'm not sure if it's actually uh, just going to be on the uh, uh, sitting alone on uh, down here, or if it'll be in a treasure chest or something like that. So I'm not. Oh, this looks pretty promising. Why would a vampire be able to? Oh well. Okay, so this yeah, this definitely looks promising. Although lock picking while underwater, that just doesn't seem at all likely. Okay, so it's most of the way to the right. Sweet. Okay, that looks like what we want. Head to Mistvale Keep. Pretty neat looking shield there. I guess is this this might be a dragon uh, dragon plate shield. I don't think it's dragon scale. Dragon plate tends to look more like it's made of bones. Dragon scale tends to be lots of smaller uh, scales put together in, into whatever type of uh, armor or weapon it is. Or I mean, I guess I should just say armor. Okay, so. What in the name of a really? I, well, I give this document to Vol. It frees him from the debt, but I never want to see him in Riften again. I'm no fan of the sun. Okay, so I want to find his house, which is which is where. Okay, I want to turn left and go what business to call straight for a while. You can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? Yeah, when I entered the town, he was hanging out, I think, against this wall. I'm not sure where he is now. I think that's it. Is this it? Hey. This is Mercer f of mine. What is it? I can't believe it. Never mind. I don't hear. He did me a favor. I guess I owe you one. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always had. Cool. Heard. So he gave me the key. So I just need to make my way in. Well, I guess I still need to unlock this using the using the uh, quick escape mechanism, but there we go. Yeah, this is definitely the nice way to uh, to make my way in. Since otherwise you have to fight that guy. But I'm going to take care uh, of this in the next Let's Play. I'm Pat Gunn and I've been your host.